Hi, Cancer. We see here an awakening happening, an enlightenment. You have Uranus coming through. Your potential for sudden change, enlightenment, and awakening. Now, this has to do with your ninth house, where you broaden your horizons spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. So it could be an external journey, or it could be um, an internal journey, right? And here, what I'm seeing is more so a spiritual growth, a spiritual evolution that is coming through. And as you canalize your energies internally instead of externally, actually, there's a clarity that comes and a power of manifestation that is grandiose. You have here, your major arcana is a magician with the empress. So this is a lot of generosity, abundance. Um, it has to do with creating from the heart. You know, getting to the understanding of a higher type of love. A love that you radiate from the inside. And as you do so, as you get in tune with this internally, you're able to manifest whatever you would like. You have creativity order and so this order is this how do you order the chaos within instead of trying to order the chaos without because once you get clear internally you're able to create you're no longer so concerned about everything that is happening outside of you and that is perhaps the illusion, the maya, the veil that is lifting. Perhaps understanding that it has nothing to do, again, with the external, the superficial. It is a reality, but you're understanding that you can create a new reality, and it's all about perception. Now, this happens, this awakening happens as you dive into the moon, which is you, uh, Cancer, which has to do with your unconscious, sensitive inner emotions and responses. So this is a scorpionic energy too. It has to do with what we've gone through in November with all the eclipses. But truly diving deep into your sensitivity, into your emotions, into your shadow shining the light upon that. And the shadow is nothing else than unconscious reactions or emotions that we carried until now and into the present. And that comes from the past, but it's no longer real in the present moment because every single present moment, you can create a new reality, actually. So here, it's about getting into the hope energy into positive thinking, into your own authority, and activate the throat chakra, your truth. And your truth is what ignites you from within this passion. We see that as you do so, there's partnership coming through, prosperity begins. Someone with whom you can create, it could be romantic or not, something beautiful, something long lasting. Now we do have any combination of 333 or 444 is coming through here. But as you step into the temple path, right from the shadow, you step into the temple path into spiritual, your higher self, that brings you to door to personal healing and happiness. And that door to personal healing internally brings you outwardly door to value, abundance, finances, economic um, growth. And not only that, but we have door to romance with, I kid you not, woman holding a heart, men holding a heart. This is a power couple. This is beautiful love. And this masculine is also showing up as the men holding a coin. So we have 
a very strong relationship coming through, whether it is in your reality right now or not. It is showing here that as you rebalance within, get into moderation, into patience, into balance, especially when it comes to emotions, we have the King of Cups here. <coughs> and you activate the third chakra, your truth. You communicate your truth. We have the lovers. So a beautiful soulmate energy it could be a twin flame as well. But that happens only when you're able to let go of the judgment or the perceptions of the other. We have here to come back to internally what actually is our internal garden. How are we inside? Because only when you become that love are you going to draw that love. So whatever other people are doing, whatever the significant person is doing, if you hold back from judging, pointing the finger there, but you see this person as a mirror to you, you surrender to the process of the healing, the personal healing that needs to take place. And here we have surrender. Remain positive about the future of our planet, for all is part of humanity's evolution. There is a divine order to all the chaos which you perceive in our world. Nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all as it is. Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations and your life will magically transform. Right? So when you allow yourself to just be, to listen to your truth, to follow your heart, and to not judge yourself or expect anything special, you will start to flow and things will start to manifest in love for sure, but also economically. Cancer, please. Let's get into your tarot. I forgot to show you this card, which is beautiful. Ecstasy. Look, this snake has to do with, you know, rebirth. It has to do with once we, the, the snake, the skin of the snake, um, you know, the old skin um, fades away, there's a new one that is reborn here. And so the illusion of being trapped no longer exists. Perhaps that was only your perception. And there you free yourself and can find this ecstasy, this freedom. And getting into this new moon in Sagittarius this week is going to have to do with this freedom, with this independence, with this personal power. Here we have death and rebirth coming through. Very scopionic, right? Cancer, please. Moving towards calmer waters, six of sword. Yeah, the wheel is turning. The wheel is turning here. And this has to do with <laughs> this five of cups and eight of sword, this self-imprisonment. Because always turn to the past, letting the past guide your future, which is not going to bring your fulfillment, is not going to bring love, is not going to bring everything that you desire. It's just going to always block you into the past. Now, when you get into the king of sword, the sword of your truth, everything is possible. It's like cutting through those emotional wounds and the past, shining the light upon it. Once you do that, the wheel turns. And you might find yourself at a crossroad here. We have a two of wands here. This is also a twin flame energy. But 
here he has chosen his wand. He has chosen the world. He wants to travel. He wants to get out there. The choice is going to be made clear, Cancer, once you get in touch within. With the present moment, not with the past. And the past comes with the emotions and the thought processes. Once you get beyond that, you have the chariot. And that's your energy, Cancer. And that has to do with, once you balance the black and the white horse, the shadow and the light within you, you're able to charge forward and manifest. See? Once you have attuned yourself with your truth and only that, which is found beyond the emotion, again, beyond the thought. Nothing will pass you by because the magician is if infinite potential. You can manifest all that you would like. And perhaps you're awakening to that infinite potential you have within you. Now the Ten of Wands is this burden that you're letting behind. Feel that this new moon in Sagittarius is going to bring you into new clarity and optimism. If you let it, right? Yeah. <clears throat> truth again. Page of sword. This is communication as well. This is speaking your truth, like we saw with the throat chakra. But here where we see, we have a six of cups. This is soulmate energy, but also coming with a five of wands. It has to do with, you know, all of those ego conflicts, competition, comparing yourself to others, drama. All of this is a mirror. You need to see it and look into yourself, into your childhood, into your deep stuff. Once you're able to see through that and cut through it again with the sword, you will see the light. We have the hermit coming through. The inner light. One more for Cancer. Yeah. Yeah, and you have the Seven of Cups. Infinite possibilities opening up your dreams. Everything. And it's a Neptunian card, so you will find this as you step into your higher self, like we talked about. And in this higher self, the true you comes through, the child within you, the page of cups. This is also pure love, true love. Could have to do with this relationship we saw before. But this has to do with also following your heart. Once you do so, nothing will be able to stop you. And I just see beautiful love and just your true path forging ahead, right? So, Cancer, I hope this was helpful. And I love you. I'll see you very soon. Take care.